Hey, my name is Ralph, and I'm a Flex Film. And, and I've got a video that's going to blow your mind. I went to the drugstore today, and I've got some uh, sunscreen, okay? I rubbed the sunscreen on this clear piece of glass. It called me crazy, but would you believe that this sunscreen is actually going to outperform this uh, name brand dyed limo film that's probably been out in the industry for 40 years, and it's probably on your car right now. Well, if you want to see how this shakes out, stay tuned. Okay, so here's how this little experiment went down. I first started out with three clear glass slides and they look like this. One glass slide got the 5% limousine dyed film and the other one got, of course, the sunscreen uh, smeared all over it. Now, I wanna point out real quick, I went to the drugstore, I bought some sunscreen, I wanted the one with the highest SPF and this one has 110, highest I could find. And so I used this one to see what would happen when I rubbed it on the glass. Um, one, one thing I want to point out though about UV, because we want to talk about UV and IR, and, and, and that's how we're going to figure out which one performs the best, but the UV is pretty cool. Okay, I didn't know this because uh, the C ray, there's an A, B, and C. The C ray is never going to make it through the Earth's atmosphere, so we don't have to worry about that with sunscreen or window film. The B ray, is gonna make it through, and that's a very dangerous ray that we wanna protect ourselves from. But I didn't know this either. It will never make it through clear glass. If we're behind clear glass in a car, the B-ray won't make it through, and we don't need window film or sunscreen to stop it. So by putting sunscreen or window film on a piece of glass, we are gonna simply figure out how much of the A-ray is gonna stop, and we're gonna see which one does the best job at it, okay? And by the way, we are using a nice little thousand dollar solar spectrum meter that's probably one of the best ones you can buy. So here's the results. I, I was able to put the, the clear glass in the meter and I was able to block out 43% of the UV. So then I took the, the window film and I put it in there and I was able to block out 99% of the UV rays. This is what I expected. Uh, most window films will do that. Then I put the sunscreen on, and I thought it was pretty cool because I was able to block out everything, 100%. There was a zero. That means it let zero UV through, blocked out 100%. The sunscreen outperformed the window film. Okay, so basically we used the meter and we repeated these tests to see how much the infrared radiation uh, performance was you know, on these three glass slides. Now I'm gonna start with the first one, obviously. The, the clear one, and we, we put it on there, and just clear glass alone, we were able to get 20% broad spectrum infrared radiation rejection, okay? Then we put the dyed film on, and we were able to get 23% infrared radiation IR rejection. And then last but not least, we put the, the, the clear piece of glass with sunscreen on it, and we got 95% IR rejection. I do want to point something out. We did notice that when we put it on a little thick and kept it kind of wet, we could get that level out of it. As it dried and thinned out, it would go down a little bit, but still always stayed up there significantly high. Okay guys, this test is absolutely ridiculous. Okay, this is crazy that you would even think about putting sunscreen on your glass. But what is absolutely even more ridiculous is that the sunscreen added more value to the glass than dyed film. And what's even more ridiculous than that is that this is what most people are buying, dyed film, and putting it on your car. You're riding around with hardly any value added to the existing glass that was already working to some degree with dyed film thinking you're, you're doing something. But one of the most ridiculous things that I can share with you today is that there's actually alternatives to these dyed products in our industry. You know, there's carbon in their ceramic films that, that have really taken a foothold in our industry that, that have really blown past dyed films and what they're able to do. If you're at all interested in technologies like this, you know, you can always visit our website and get information, or most importantly, feel free to call us. I would love to discuss the details of alternatives to dyed film products like this to add more value to your glass.